Hello! Today's video will be about the real stages of harmonious twin flame union. This video is meant to be an introduction of those stages with a brief description that I will give to you, but I'm planning on making uh, one video for each individual stage. So if you would like that, then stay tuned. Uh, and before we begin, um, those stages, there's no clear separation between them as you're going through them. So that means that maybe one part of your union is in stage one and another is in stage four or stage two or stage three. And those can coexist at the same time. It's different areas of your union that are in a different stage and that's okay. And how quickly or slowly you move through those stages is how willing you are to move, like what your pace is. If you want to move through them very slowly, that's okay and that's your choice. But if, on the other hand, you move through them super quickly, then that's your choice as well. And it depends on your willingness, right? It's not enough to say, oh, it is for this to be quick. You know, you need to put the action behind it. And actually, do the spiritual work required um, if you desire to make this go by much faster. You know, so that's one thing to keep in mind. So let's begin with stage number one, the decision. Making the decision is the most important part here. Well, one of the most important parts, <laughs> because it's the beginning, right? That's where you begin. The universe can't give you what you desire unless you decide to have it and pursue it. So making the decision to be with your twin flame in harmonious twin flame union aligns you with your twin flame. So when you decide, you acquire your twin flame on the inside, like you already feel your union. When you say, like, I choose to have my twin flame in harmonious twin flame union, when you say that from the center of your heart, you can feel like <laughs> you can feel the energy there. It's quite powerful, right? It feels peaceful. It feels loving. And in that instant, you acquire your twin flame, even if the outside might not reflect that. I remember when I made that choice, like um, in a more grounded and powerful way than ever before, I was still with my false twin flame without knowing. And I made my choice and I still felt my union on the inside. Like on the outside, my reality was um, quite weird to say the least. Like um, the relationship was falling apart. I was very confused. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, but on the inside, it felt so peaceful. Like I remember like going out on walks uh, around the time and like feeling nature and um, being so peaceful. Even though on the outside, it was like a complete shit show, mm -hmm. right? So... It doesn't matter what the outside looks like. And if you want to know what happened after that, I did the healing work and a few months later, I was in union with my true twin flame. So it was very important though for me to make the decision to be with my true twin flame. And I did feel my union on the inside at first. And that's um, an experience that you shouldn't dismiss if you feel it or if you aren't sure that you feel yet, because um, what's within you attracts your reality. So the more you feel your union, the more you feel like you're one with your twin flame at your core, that's what you're manifesting in your um, external reality. And what you feel is what you put energy into. So yeah, let's give you a brief example. If you put a lot of energy into worrying and stressing, that's what you're manifesting more of. Things to worry about and stress about because the universe is like, okay, here she is putting their energy there. So let's give them more, <laughs> you know. But if you're putting your energy into thoughts of union, the universe is like, oh, so that's what you want. Okay, here it is. So yeah, that's stage number one, the decision. Stage number two is the meeting. So in every manifestation, there is a receiving aspect. So you chose to be in your twin flame union. So that's what you must receive, right? Because you're choosing it every step of the way. Unless you make a different choice along the way. But I'm assuming that you're continuing to make the choice every single day. So, yeah, uh, this is a stage because it takes a long time to meet your twin flame on the inside. Because you're meeting yourself in every part of your consciousness, essentially. And you're a vast divine being. You can't, like, um, meet all of yourself in one day or in an hour. It will take some time. Like, we're still all getting to know ourselves. You know, and if you're in the stage where you're like, I'm still getting to know myself, whether you're 20 or 30 or 80, you know, <laughs> that's okay. Because we're always learning about ourselves. So meeting your twin flame on the inside, it might take a while because you're still also getting to know yourself. And it's something I've pointed out in my love list video as well, um, that it's important to explore the relationship. 
before jumping into conclusions. Does this person match every single one of my core values? And that can take some time because you need to see it in action. It's not enough for a person to tell you, hey, I'm honest, you know, I value honesty. Everyone can say this. <laughs> I don't think anybody will just outright tell you, hey, I'm a liar, you shouldn't trust me. Everybody will say that, but it's one thing for them to say it and another for you to actually experience that this person is indeed honest. You know, they're not hiding their intentions. They're, you know, they mean what they say. They follow up with actions. So that's an honest person. And honesty is my core value. So that person matches me here. Right. So uh, in the same example, you might notice sometimes that um, there's a part of you that really desires to be honest, but maybe is afraid of being honest because there are consequences, people judging you and all those things. So in that case, uh, you're still getting to know yourself on the inside. So it's like, yeah, I just got to know part of myself that is really afraid of having this type of consequence. So what am I going to do? I'll go within and love that part of myself and um, let this part of myself know that it's okay. You know, what is important is um, being true to her values, not what other people think. Because at the end of the day, like, you could try to be what every person wants you to be. You still won't be satisfied and you're not going to satisfy everyone. So might as well just honor yourself, honor your values and um, it will be okay. I promise. So stage number three of Harmonies Twin Flame Union is the upset stage. So this one I'm sure you're all quite familiar with at this point because um, this can be an intense journey to be in, right? It's like out of nowhere stuff happens and it's like, oh, <laughs> what am I doing? You know, it can feel very um, emotionally up and down sometimes, but that's okay, especially in the beginning as you get used to it and you master the inner work. It's okay if there's some days that feel worse than others, you know? And it's okay to have upsets on your journey. Absolutely. Like, um, let's not turn this into toxic positivity. Like, you need to smile all day, every day, and everything's okay when it's not okay. It's okay not to be okay. So, this is the most important stage, the upset stage, that you will ever need to go through on your journey to Harmonious Twin Flame Union. And that's where a lot of Twin Flames give up on their journey. Even though, like, they can have their Harmonious Twin Flame Union, they're like, oh, that's too much. I don't want to do this. So they settle instead. Which, it's sad, but um, it's okay to have compassion for people who are not choosing this at this moment. Because um, it's much harder to be with someone that um, doesn't really challenge you in any way. And, you know, you staying stagnant, not growing. That's not your nature as a divine being. So, yeah, settling for someone that doesn't really challenge you to grow, that can be painful. Or for someone that you need to settle with and doesn't meet or all your core values just because some upsets came up. And um, I'll also let you know how you can resolve those upsets very, you know, very quickly, very effectively. So um, you and your twin flame upset each other, not deliberately, not because you hate each other, <laughs> you know, not because you dislike that person, they dislike you, none of that. You and your twin flame upset each other because you love each other. And that might be hard to understand at first, like, how can that happen? And it's because your twin flame is always showing you and you're showing them without realizing. That's not a conscious thing that you're doing. They're showing you that you are the creator of your reality. They're showing you that you're powerful, that you're divine and that you are your source. You know, the divine is your source, not your twin flame. So all the love you need, all the attention, all the, all the affection that you need, it's all within you. And you can have it right now. You don't have to wait for your twin flame to give this to you. You don't have to wait to receive it from elsewhere, from a soulmate or from anywhere else. You can have it all right now. It's just deciding to have it, you know, the decision stage <laughs> that we talked about. So uh, let's give you an example. So if there's somewhere within you where you don't really believe that you're divine and that you need attention from your twin flame to feel validated, your twin flame is going to not be very responsive to you sending them messages. They're going to be maybe dismissive or not talk to you, ignore it, you know. Not because they are doing it on purpose, like, oh, you're looking for attention from me, so I'm not going to reply to you. It's very much an unconscious thing. It's like they don't feel like doing it. They don't feel like responding because there's this repulsive energy of you trying to get the attention, <laughs> you know. But when you start to you know, really give yourself this attention and you just reach out from a place of love, like, hey, 
I'd like to meet tonight. You know, I have these cool tickets for the school show. Would you like to come with me? I thought of you. You'll enjoy it. You know, like very unattached to the result and very much like offering love, offering the gift of you instead of wanting to get their attention or get something from them. See how different it is. You're giving instead of trying to get. And they're going to be like, hell yeah, you know. <laughs> Maybe there might be some, um, you know... Uh, objections at some point because um, maybe they want to play hard to get <laughs> you know that can happen but um, that's okay because when you're confident eventually uh, they will melt in the love that you offer and you can definitely make it work because they're your twin flame so how could they not um, accept your offer of love and when I say playing hard to get I don't mean it in the sense that they're playing games necessarily but in the sense that they've been hurt there before so they might be hesitant to accept it you know so that is something that can happen. Having compassion for your twin flame is very important here. So, yeah, that's pretty much the opposite states. Like, they're somewhere where your twin flame is holding a vibration of love. But if you're not holding that for yourself in your own vibration, then you're going to experience that upset in yourself in that area. So when you do that, it's your responsibility to go within and love this part of yourself fully and hold that vibration of love. So that you can match and there's no opposite here <laughs> anymore. So in that case, when we spoke about the attention thing, um, you give yourself this attention daily. You give yourself this love all the time. You know, loving yourself is a full-time job and it's very rewarding because who would you rather <laughs> give this love to if not yourself? Who is more worthy of your love than you are? Yeah, that feels very good <laughs> to just say, like, you're worthy of your love. It feels so good. Because it's true, you know, divine truth always feels good in your heart when you speak it out loud or think about it. So yeah, it's important for you to be take responsibility for your feelings and that way your twin flame will also take responsibility for theirs. So if you feel like you've been doing all the spiritual work in your union, that's part of it, you know, because um, you don't have to take on what your twin flame uh, has. You only need to take on your part of the burden. It's not a burden, but your share of it, right? So if you feel a certain way by them doing something, if you feel upset, then that's your responsibility. If you don't feel upset, it's not up to you. You just surrender, <laughs> hold space for them and let them heal it, you know? And there's a lot of balance here. You don't need to take on more than more than is for you. You know, that's um, especially important to remember. So yeah, if you aren't sure how to deal with the upset states, then I highly recommend using uh, a healing tool specifically designed for twin flames to help you go through that because that's very important. It's just misalignments that um, you just require to make a different choice there. That's it in the upset states. So in that case, I recommend the mirror exercise. It's linked below in the next steps. So you can um, do that. I it's the one, It's a tool I've been using. So... For me, it has worked wonders, so that's why I recommend it. And if you aren't sure how to apply it, then feel free to reach out to me. I have my contact info below, and we can talk about it. I can help you with it, so don't be afraid to reach out. Good, so let's go to stage number four, the final twin flame union stage, which is unconditional love. And unconditional love is the result of deciding that you desire to be in your harmonious twin flame union, the result of working through misalignments that come up, so the upset states, and then receiving the fruits of removing those obstacles. And yeah, if there are no obstacles, then you can experience divine love rushing in every area of your union. So that's very important. The unconditional love is a result. It's not somewhere um, you'll be everywhere in your union when you first meet, and that's okay. That's normal. You're on planet Earth, you know, I'm assuming, if you're watching this, <laughs> most likely. So this planet is very much steeped in separation consciousness. So of course there won't be, like, there will be places in your consciousness where you still are not in unconditional love and that's okay. It's okay to recognize that and honor where you are and keep working towards that result. Because there is no way you won't receive unconditional love from both yourself and your twin flame as you do the work. And as you take the steps to heal those upsets and to decide to be with your twin flame, you know, that's um, a tried and true process that is in place for that. 
And yeah, at first it might seem overwhelming or a lot, but that's okay. You know, make sure not to overwhelm yourself, to take it easy. And as you increase your mastery in healing those upsets and doing your inner work, then the easier it will be to experience this unconditional love and to experience all of this beauty and to, you know, do the inner work and heal bigger upsets. And yeah, like your capacity to heal things increases <laughs> the more you do this. So it's okay if you're a beginner and it's discouraging, like it's okay, like encourage yourself. You've got this. You know, even completing one small mirror exercise, that's much better than doing nothing. And like a few small ones, like you can build a foundation from those. We all begun there. So yeah, that's important to keep in mind. It's okay to take baby steps at first and um, to trust that you will arrive where you desire you will arrive. The universe is on your side. God, our creator, is on your side. So yeah, that's um, it's got nothing to do with luck. It's all about decision, working through things, and um, being persistent and committed to having the love that you desire. So these were the four stages of Harmonious Twin Flame Union. I'm so grateful to have offered you this message today, and I'm so grateful that you chose to watch my video. I'm wishing you an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.